Hi, I'm Judy. This video is brought to you by Greenbelt Recreation Arts. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make tissue paper flowers. So let's talk about what you need first. You might want a scissor. You'll need either a twisty tie from bread packages or perhaps some tape. Of course, you'll need some tissue paper. Now, I use tissue paper that was left over from gifts, that kind of thing. And if the tissue paper was crumpled, I'm just going to spread it out. If it's a little ripped, that's okay. It will be beautiful. I'm going to show you how to do this on my table. The first thing I do is lay out my tissue paper, one sheet on top of another. And you can use as many sheets as you like. Now this was the crumpled one. And I'm going to lay it out and just smooth it with my hands. And then you can choose how large you want your flower to be and cut the tissue paper down to the size you'd like it to be. Also, my tissue paper was different sizes. So if I cut while they're all laying on top of each other, I can make them the same size before I start folding. So I'm cutting away extra tissue paper and making all my tissue paper the same size. Make sure my tissue paper matches up. I just lay it on top of itself. If I have to fix something, I'm just gonna cut this blue over here. And I like to have a different color on the top and the bottom if I have that in the house. So it's easy when I fold so I can remember. So now I'm going to do an accordion fold. And this is how you do it. You fold one half in along like a long rectangle. I know it doesn't match exactly, that's okay. And if I rip it a little, that's okay. It will still be beautiful. So it's on the white side, I'm going to flip it over. Now it's on the blue side, and I'm going to fold it again, that nice rectangle, and press it down with my fingers. I'll flip it again. Now it's on the white side, I'll flip it over. So I'm getting this nice accordion fold and pressing down. I'm flipping it over, it goes pretty fast. I'm folding it to that nice rectangle. I'll flip it over, now it's on the white side, and I'll turn it so I get that nice rectangle, press it down, flip it to the blue side, fold it again, press it down, almost done. Oh, it has a little rip, and that is okay. It won't matter. So I turn it over, and I fold it again, press it down, and now it's pretty well done. I think I have a little extra here at the end. I'm deciding I could leave it or I could cut it off. I'll just leave it. Now I have this lovely accordion fold. Do you see that? There it is from all that folding we did. Now I'm going to fold it in half. So it's folded in half, right like that. And I have this, the folded side, and this side is not folded. Well, this is when I use my scissors. So I would like to give my flower a pointy end. So I'm gonna cut the end off, and it's like cutting a V right at the top of my flower. I'm gonna move my scraps out of the way, and you can see I made it a pointy end. See that? And now I'm going to do it on the other side. You can use the first side as a model. Cut it off. And if you want, an adult can help you cut off the end. I did not cut it on the folded side. So now I'm going to take my twisty tie and I'm going to tie it around the fold. I could take the tape and tape it around the fold. If you don't have a twisty tie, you can use tape. So here I go. I'm putting the twisty tie in there. It's a little wide, that's okay, because I can fold this in a little bit more so that my twisty tie can get all the way around and twist 
I got it right at the fold. And now I'm going to twist. All I'm doing is twisting the twisty tie to hold the flower. So I want the white to be on the inside of my flower. And you can see I'm ready now. I'm going to pull gently the first layer of tissue paper up, up, up. Yeah, just like that. If I rip it, it's okay. But do it gently and you probably won't rip it. I'll take the next layer, also white, pulling it up toward the middle. Now I'm going to get my yellow stripes, my zigzag yellow stripes, pull them up toward the middle. Oh, that's fun. Yellow, I'll do the yellow again. Yellow and white. And the outside is going to be the blue. I just have to pull the blue up around the yellow and half of my flower is finished. See that? Half is finished and this half is not. So I start again. I'll start with the first white tissue paper, pulling it up, up, up. There we go. Now I'll pull the second layer of white gently because tissue paper is very thin, so I won't rip it if I don't have to. I'm careful enough. Now the yellow and white, and I'm pulling it up. Now this yellow and white, the next one, I can see, I didn't know before, probably from the package it was in, it had a rip. But that's okay, you won't see it. My flower will still be beautiful. I just pull it up, and now I'm going to pull the final blue up. And there I have it. I have my beautiful tissue paper flower. I can tape, you can take a little bit of tape and you can tape the outside edges together to help hold your flower in one piece. So I just put a little piece of tape there. See that? It holds the two outside edges together. So here it's not taped and here it's taped. And there's my beautiful flower. Now, if I don't have tissue paper, I could use newspaper. And I started this one already. I just cut the newspaper as big as I wanted it to be. I did my accordion fold, and now I'm going to pull it. I think the newspaper is thicker than the tissue paper, so I only used three, just three layers of newspaper. I pull up the first one in the center of the flower, just like that. I'm going to pull up the second one. I ripped it a little, that's okay, it will still be beautiful. It's a little hard to pull up. And now I'm gonna pull up the, the outside one. Can't even see the rip, just beautiful. And now I've made a flower with newspaper. And I didn't cut the edges, these are the straight edges and they got all ruffly, they're beautiful. Now, if you want to, see I made this one with a twisty tie in different colors. That's the first one I showed you. I had some extra ribbon. So I took some ribbon, I put it between the fold and I tied the ribbon on. And this one, I had another ribbon. This was done with tape all around it and I tucked a ribbon and I made a really big flower. So we've got all these flowers and we're ready to have a beautiful bouquet of tissue paper flowers. Maybe it's somebody's birthday or just a celebration of spring. I'm glad you joined me today. This video was brought to you by Greenbelt Recreation Arts. For more information, you can go to greenbeltmd.gov backslash arts. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.